Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today's February 12th. On January 5th, actually, I showed you how to seed start thyme and oregano in an overseeding method. This is my thyme, and oregano would be taken care of the same way. With the overseeding method, instead of just putting in one tiny thyme seed or oregano seed, we put in a lot, you know, probably, I don't know, 20 seeds or something like that, but we overseed it. And the reason you do it is just because of this. They grow really nicely together. When they get to about this size, you're going to transplant them into, you can put them into styrofoam cups, into container like, like this, but you're just moving them so that they get bigger. They're going to be nicely established. And when they get into your garden and it's warmer, you're going to be ready to, you're going to be able to harvest your herbs this year rather than waiting for them to grow to size and maybe be ready next year. So again, these are put in to the seed cells overseeding method on January 5th. So what's that been? Uh, 25, uh, about 37 days. So like five weeks. So in about five weeks, your thyme and your oregano should be ready to transplant. Now, a couple of things to look at. I told you when you did this, we could actually split this down the middle and then we would have two transplants. And it's just really up to you. You want to kind of look at it and if you feel like you could break it down the middle and have a nice clump on each side, then go ahead and split it. If not, just leave it like this. When you're going to put it into your container, I talked to you in the past about thumb packing. This is not thumb pack. This is just filled. It's extremely uh, loose and fluffy and you want to do that because you're going to just drop the plug right into the middle. It's, it's an extremely, extremely loose. Don't thumb pack this. And then you just Make a circle with your finger, just like that. This is going to gently be held, pushed in, come around from the side, press it in, and now you pack it down, and you've put your thyme into here, it even looks bigger already, um, into your transplant container, it's packed down, it looks good. You could add a little more of the starting mix now, around it and this plant is good to grow and it'll continue to grow it can stay indoors for many weeks until it's ready to go outside now this plant has a lot of time in there and I'm gonna just break this one right down the middle you just grip it and make sure you break it down the middle gently pull it apart same thing loose soil make a circle Grab the top gently, drop it in, press it in, add your starting mix. Just make sure none of the uh, thyme kind of stalks are buried under there. Make sure they're above the surface, surface. And then put in the next one. And I don't even need any more starting mix on that. So you end up with two plugs, got me three plants of thyme. And remember I told you this would save you money. These are going to grow over the next couple of weeks before they're ready to get outside. If you were to go buy these at a uh, nursery or a place like Home Depot, they'd cost you anywhere from, you know, three, four, maybe even five dollars in some places for your thyme plants. So for pennies, you can get at least six time transplants like this, if not more, if, if you split them in half, you'll have more, but you'll save a lot of money. And then these can be tucked in all around your garden. They can go into containers. They can go into the corners of raised bed in uh, your raised beds, but you can really put out a lot of herbs into your garden. And the cost is so much cheaper than spending three, four, five dollars for these at a nursery. Hope you enjoyed my videos. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.